Digital note taking. Unless you're a productivity nerd, this topic probably sounds just as sexy as an unsolicited back rub from a stranger. True story. Note taking is an intimate activity that can reveal endless details about a person's beliefs, preferences, and struggles. So keeping this information safe from curious eyes is critical to protecting your privacy. Yet so many popular note taking apps do nothing to protect your privacy and security. Arrgh. This video will cover five privacy respecting digital note taking apps that offer better privacy than mainstream applications with a few creative honorable mentions. The order is subjective, so just make sure to try each app yourself to see what suits you best. First though, it's important to cover encryption and data ownership. In ye olden times, people kept physical journals and paper documents. These items are the property of that person and it's their job to keep them safe, which may have involved an actual safe with a lock. Fast forward to 2021, where most of these notes have migrated to the digital space. Here, data ownership and safety of said data is more convoluted than Zuck's Senate hearing answers. In short, end-to-end -end encryption is the equivalent of locking your journal or documents inside a safe that you own the only key to. Only this key can decrypt your data, and losing the key means your data becomes inaccessible. Most apps don't utilize this form of encryption, so the safety of your data is up in the air at best. There's also the issue of data ownership. If your data lives on a server you don't own, the owner of said server can claim ownership of your data. No system is foolproof, but as a general rule of thumb, you want to make sure any data you're uploading to the cloud is protected with end-to-end -end encryption, and the company has clear policies on data ownership something we are prioritizing for this video. With that said, let's jump into the apps. App number five is Craft, which is the most mainstream app on this list. So why is it here in the first place if it's mainstream? It's because of Craft's strong public stance on data ownership and accessibility. This page is just awesome. It explains these concepts in everyday language and why it's a priority to them. To help deliver on this principle, they recently released a web version of Craft in addition to their Apple apps and intend to create one for Android in the future you better. While the app itself may not be open source, we still applaud Craft for working hard to ensure the end user owns their data, even if that means moving it away from Craft entirely. If you want a mainstream app with a beautiful UI and lots of features, this is our top pick. App number four, hold your comments, is a two for one special. You're welcome. Notally in Apple Notes, yes, stay with us. These apps are both excellent for offline mobile notes. We generally do not recommend iCloud, if you couldn't tell. So if all you need is a basic notes app for simple tasks like a grocery list, these are both great for that use case. Notally can be found on F-Droid and the Google Play Store, and Apple Notes ships with all iPhones. Notally has a clean, minimalist UI with support for labels, archiving, and a few settings to customize note viewing. It's basic, and if that's what you need, this app is good. Over on iOS, Apple Notes has improved a lot over the years, now supporting rich text, note sharing, sketching, photos, documents, etc. Since it natively ships with iPhones, and as long as you turn iCloud syncing off, this is not a bad out-of-the-box solution for offline mobile notes on iOS. App number three is Joplin, a veteran in the private note-taking space. Joplin is a FOSS, Krauss platform note-taking app that serves as a privacy-respecting alternative to digital notebook apps like Evernote. It supports markdown and rich text, web clipping via their browser extension, and can be customized with various themes and plugins to suit your needs. It can be used offline without an account, or you can sync your notes to cloud services like Dropbox. Normally this would be a privacy concern, but Joplin offers end-to-end -end encryption to mitigate this. For a fee, you can use Joplin Cloud, which allows for quicker syncing, collaboration, and publishing notes to the web. If if you can live without those features, Joplin is 100% free and is an excellent FOSS digital note-taking alternative to mainstream offerings. App number two is Standard Notes. Standard Notes is a fully open source, freemium note-taking service with apps for every major platform. The free version includes end-to-end -end encryption, web and offline access, and syncing between devices with no device or note limit. Standard Notes emphasizes longevity, so the extended upgrade is available for $2.48 per month if you commit to a five year plan. It does have a 30 day money back guarantee though. For that price, you get a lot. Additional themes, multiple editors for everything from markdown to code editing, a token vault extension, note history encrypted backups, 2FA support, and more. Though we are not fans of 2FA being paywalled. It's like it took a page from Microsoft's book here. But otherwise, you get everything you need in the free plan with the extended upgrade offering the cake icing. <laughs> <laughs> Who made that mistake? Offering the icing on the cake to support development. Before revealing our number one service, let's go over those honorable mentions. The first honorable mention is Signal's note to self feature, my favorite. 
If you want as few apps on your phone as possible and you don't need any of the features supported by other apps we've mentioned, this might be what you're looking for. Just like when you start any other signal message. Note to self supports end-to-end -end encryption by default and it's what it sounds like. It's a message slash note you send to yourself. These pile up just like any other message thread and can provide basic functionality across your devices with Signal if that's all you need. The second honorable mention is another two for one special. Crypty and Nextcloud are both private cloud storage first services that also include note taking options. Crypty is the new kid on the FOSS block with lots of charm and a universal progressive web app that runs on any device. It supports documents, photos, and more with neat features like ghost albums. Everything is end to end encrypted and you get 100 megabytes of storage for free with three paid upgrade options if you need more gigabytes. Nextcloud is the go-to FOSS recommendation for cloud storage, but it also has an entire suite of apps that you can install, including Nextcloud Notes, MindMap, Quick Notes, and more. The Nextcloud Notes app specifically supports Markdown, offers organization through categories, and has mobile apps for both Android and iOS. The main draw here is the amount of trust or lack thereof that's needed since Nextcloud is generally self-hosted. Both of these services are phenomenal options if you need or want more functionality than an app that focuses just strictly on note taking. And finally, we present to you app number one, Obsidian, a cross-platform powerhouse with limitless possibilities. Obsidian's primary purpose is to serve as a personal knowledge base, a concept that's been recently popularized as a second brain. The app has improved rapidly in 2021, now with apps for all major platforms and a strong, helpful community backing. Obsidian has quickly become a gold standard for privacy and data ownership in the note-taking space. All files are stored locally on your device in the universal markdown format, making them both private and portable. Obsidian is completely free to use locally or with cloud syncing services like iCloud. If you want to avoid iCloud, as we strongly do, you can subscribe to Obsidian Sync, which supports end-to-end -end encryption of your files. Obsidian natively supports several plugins like bidirectional linking, a knowledge graph, tags, and more. The real power, though, is the community support. Within the settings, you'll find community themes and plugins for maximum customization and functionality. And the best part, all community contributions are available on GitHub. Obsidian might seem like overkill to some of you, but the beauty is it can be as overkill or as minimal as you want. So definitely check it out to see if it works for you. And that's our list. To summarize, Craft has a mainstream UI with lots of functionality, as well as a strong stance on data ownership and portability. Notably and Apple Notes are great offline mobile note apps. Joplin is the tried and true OG FOSS digital note taking app. Standard Notes is a simple yet powerful app with a focus on longevity, and Obsidian is the king of customization and data ownership. Let us know what your favorite note-taking or writing app is in the comments below. We would love to hear, and you can share with everyone else. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really does help us spread these videos around, and if you enjoy our content, please consider donating via Monero or becoming a patron on Patreon to support our work and help us reach our goal of spreading privacy and security to the masses. Thanks for watching everyone, and we will see you next time on TechLore.